all very good evening to all good evening to all this clearly audible and visible we are just about to start our part 2 of the synopsis me the creation for your upcoming fmg so before starting the session briefing about the upcoming batch courses targeting your niche 2023 they have been started on 25th of may friendly coming weeks to more batch courses then with every plus subscription it access both live and recorded session can take the benefits of iconic subscription can take the benefits of an academy light is the question bank question then free test calendar for fmg exams in particular targeting your different different subjects they have been going on till 31st of may the schedule is then time then batches targeting your up ms exams to be held on 17th of july they have also been all the major subjects will be covered this is your target next 2023 subject wise batch then you can take the benefits of previous year question bank for neat as well as fmg exams they have been updated i think we are good to go then prop based courses are also running so there let us start with so we will be quick because the questions are small small questions so my whole target is to revise maximum thing let us utilize our time first question privilege communication means exception to the general rule of which of the following in your answers in the live chat window a uh, very good evening to all correct answer to this question will be privilege communication is communication made to certain individuals and authorities so this is a sort of exception to professional secrecy as doctors it is our obligation to keep secret all information of a patient which we come to know during course of treatment we cannot disclose the secrets of a patient throughout the hospital we have to keep it secret this is what is professional secrecy privilege communication means there are certain scenarios where information of a patient can be shared to certain individuals and authorities let us just quickly recap the mnemonic goes with civic sin means the mnemonic to remember the situations of privilege communication if the patient has done a crime yes we will inform the police authorities every hospital has got a police station attached to i for infectious diseases v for venereal disease obviously we will inform our nursing staff we will inform the colleagues we will inform the relatives take care then i for in self interest a doctor can disclose all the information of a patient like for in negligence cases to prove our innocence then c for court of law goes with the same thing Uh, if the patient has filed a criminal complaint complaint against you he has taken you to criminal courts so again you can disclose all the information to prove your innocence as for servant and employee so there are certain servants like government servants like train drivers if they are found to be color, color blind by a railway doctor railway doctor can inform the railway authorities is a type of privilege communication then sometimes in patient's interest also we disclose the information like patient was having suicidal tendencies because of depression depression is overall the most common cause of suicidal tendency so yes we can inform the wife of the patient spouse of the patient and for notifiable diseases we can notify the authorities in with regards to certain diseases like yellow fever covid deaths yeah notifiable diseases we notify the municipal corporation authority so remember the situations of privilege communication the old question of your exam sir next one which is false about informed consent pick the pick the answer of choice false about informed consent recent neat pg exam was held on 21st of may you got one question informed consent it they gave you a case scenario and they asked what is this type of consent so which of the following is false about informed consent
correct answer goes with option C. We cannot hide any procedure or treatment available for a disease. Like suppose the case was a case of MI. Now, stenting is an option. Then CABG is an option, coronary artery bypass graft. We have to inform the patient that these procedures are available for your condition. We are informing the patient. This type of consent we are talking about informed consent. We inform the patient about all the procedures available and the advantages and disadvantages of each and every procedure. And let the patient decide based on his, based on the money aspect, what he can expend. Let the patient decide, but we have to inform the patient. This is what is informed consent. So informed consent is taken before the procedure, he must be told about the risk involved and must be explained in the language he understands. Then in addition, also remember, it is taken before any major medical or surgical procedure. Before any medical or surgical intervention, which type of consent is taken? Informed consent. This is the type of consent which is taken from a sexual assault victim. During sexual assault victim examination, which type of consent is taken from the victim? Informed consent. We inform the victim that findings of the examination might go with you, might go against you. So, this is again informed consent. Okay. What is implied consent? Taking OPD card of a hospital gives implied consent for general physical examination. So, implied is for general procedures like OPD procedure, usual. Then another type of consent is expressed consent, which can be taken in a written manner. So a younger version of informed consent is sort of expressed consent. But what we should always remember is informed consent before any major medical or surgical procedure. Answer this one. Let me see how many of you answered this correctly. A repeat question of our exam. Correct answer goes with four options are there. Answer answer is in front of your screen. to answer over. Unless you mark it correctly, you don't get your mark. So correct answer goes with not option D. Option B because the question is asking about. Always read the last lines of the question twice. But thoda bhi confusion and always read it twice. The last line. So inquest is being asked that inquest of this case where a married female committed suicide due to dowry demand within seven years of marriage. Five years of marriage means within seven years. So the case is a dowry death case, but it has to be invest. Inquest ka matlab kya hota hai? Investigation or inquiry. Inquiry is a procedure. It will come under criminal procedural code. And here a magisterial inquiry will be done. All of you know this. But you should remember. Then they can change the lines of the question like this. Full stop ke baad, If I write. The relatives of the female. They have come to a police station. Now the FIR by the policeman. Will be lost under. Will your answer remain B or will you like to change it? Now your answer will change to option D. FIR is lost under IPC section which define an offense and defines their punishment. Sorry death is a punishable offense under 304 BIP. What is the minimum punishment? 7 years. Maximum is life. Dowry death is a frequently asked question of FMG exams in particular. Never mark it wrong. Never mark it wrong. Police will not do the inquest. Na? 174 at all cannot be your answer. What is 174 CRPC? Police inquest. Police will not do the inquest because it comes under magisterial inquest uh, criteria. Then 304 AIPC kya hota hai? Wherever death of a patient has occurred due to negligent act of any person. 
in relation to patient and doctor i say that the doctor has done a negligent act leading to death of the patient yes how the doctor can be punished under 304a ipc provision this is one of the ipc sections in relation to negligence it is not applicable only to patient and doctor always remember 304 AIPC में कौन से केसेस लॉस्ड होते हैं? Where ever a road traffic accident victim has died on the spot, what is the what is the section in the FIR against the driver of the vehicle? So all your road traffic accidents where the victim has died, the FIR is lost under 304 A IPC initially, because all road traffic accidents are taken to be a negligent act by the driver. Correct है ना? So 304A is not exclusively only for doctor and patient. It is a general IPC. Always remember. So this one. Punishment of perjury is given in which section? Simplest question for today. Punishment of perjury is given in which of the following answer? With option. Definition of perjury. Perjury is defined in which section? Now your answer will go with 190. What is perjury? Willfully giving false evidence by your witness is punishable and is defined under 191 and punishment is given under 193 IPC provision. What is the maximum punishment here? Up to seven years. Up to seven years. Provision is. Punishment is given under. Answer to the question will be option C. Okay, 193. Perjury is defined in 191. Law of criminal responsibility of an Indian person in India is based upon which of the following? Law of criminal responsibility of an insane or we say mentally ill person. Very good evening. Very good evening to all. Comes under McNaughton's rule in India. These are rules of other countries. They are also related to insanity itself, but not followed in India. McNaughton's rule has been incorporated in our IPCs under 84 IPC. Details are not Yes, We are not going into detail. Who was McNaughton of the case? Victim, accused, lawyer, judge. Who was McNaughton of the case? Bottom was victim, accused, lawyer, or judge of the case. Four options. Who was McNaughton? Answer goes with he was accused of the case. He was the accused of the case. Full name is Daniel McNaughton. Victim name tha. This McNaughton was accused of the case. He was having a paranoid schizophrenia. And under this paranoid schizophrenia, he was having a delusion of persecution. That British Prime Minister is going to kill him. So he planned that before British Prime Minister kills me, let me kill the British Prime Minister. The British Prime Minister was not killed in his attempt, but the secretary was killed. So he was caught, he was the accused of the case. So during the trial of McNaughton's, he got our McNaughton's rule, which says that if the defense lawyer is able to prove that the accused during the time of offense was an insane person, means unsound mind person. Because of that unsoundness, he was not able to understand nature and consequences of his act. And what he was doing was wrong or opposite to law. So that, that fulfills your McNaughton's rule, which can give a benefit to the accused. It's not that it will always give. It is a legal test for insanity. Always remember, McNaughton's rule is Legal test comes under 84 IPC. It is based on circumstantial evidences and many other facts, many other evidences of the case. Next one, rest law, second life test detects changes in which of the following organs. This is one of the tests to distinguish stillbirth deliveries from live birth. Where we look for presence of air in which of the following. Answer goes with stomach and bowel. And the easier correct. In stillbirth, it is absent. In live birth, because respiration has taken place, some air might be present in the GIT also. That was looked in breast loss, second life test. 
answer this one. In a typical hanging, the knot of ligature material is placed at the nape of neck on the back. If you simple word, mein yaad hai, always remember mid occipital region. Just simple. Mid occipital region. This is what is typical hanging. A typical hanging means position of knot anywhere else other than mid occipital. Is judicial hanging a type of atypical hanging? Yes. What is the most common knot position in judicial hanging? Left angle of mandible. Can be placed over below chin also. Judicial hanging, agar pucha gaya ki typical hai, atypical hai, it is a type of atypical hanging based on knot position. Answer this one. Constructing force required for obliterating carotid arteries in a hanging case. Is which of the following? Who does the correct answer? Answer is 4 to 5 kg. 4 to 5 kg pressure is needed to compress our internal carotid artery, which is going to supply my brain. So it will be obstructed so brain supply will be affected so i can say the person will go into cerebral hypoxia because of compression of carotids then 2 kg pressure is needed to compress your internal jugular veins which can lead to venous congestion in the person because doing the act of hanging and about 15 to 20 kg pressure is needed to compress your larynx and trachea that will lead to compression of the airways into asphyx. All these three mechanisms, they come into play in relation to death of a person in hanging case. So this pressure, pressure gradient, what we are reading is for hanging cases. Always remember, it will not be applicable for strangulation case because this is a data, this is a study based finding. A study was done on hanging cases. This data is applicable only for hanging death, not for strangulation. Uh, about 30 kg pressure is needed for vertebral artery. Correct, Kastu. correct, Following tests are used for detection of semen. Semen ka n rahe so, detection of semen except. Answer goes with paraffin test, which is another name for dermal nitrate test, which is used in ballistic cases. Detect gunshot residues over hands of a person. Whether the person has fired a weapon or not, this is one of the tests which detect nitrate component in gunshot residues. Whereas, barbarios, florence, acid phosphatase, creatine phosphokinase, LDH levels, they are noted in your seminal stain sample. Barbarios, may, what is the output? What is the color of the crystals? Just remember the color at least. In Barbarios, the crystals are yellow colored, needle shaped, and they are made up of permin, picrate. In Florence, the crystals are dark brown color, rhombic shaped, Made up of choline iodide. The source of a spermin in Barbarios is organ having R alphabet. Remember this trick. Prostate R goes with R of a spermin. R of Barbarios. Choline has a L alphabet. It will come out from an organ having lots of L alphabet like seminal vessels. Next one. Niston's rule in postmortem changes is related to which of the following PM changes? Which of the following PM? Niston's rule is relation now. It comes in relation to Rigor mortis. Rigor mortis, progression and resolution. 
was told by Nistons in relation to which muscles? This rule is applicable only to voluntary muscles. It is not applicable to hard muscles. Hard muscles are involuntary muscles. It is applicable only to voluntary. Nistons told us that progression and resolution of rigor mortis is in same direction. This was told by Nistons. Head to toe. Progression goes like this from eyelids to your toes and fingers. But overall, the first muscles to go into first muscles to show rigor mortis. First muscle to show rigor mortis. What will be your answer? Eyelids or something else? Always, always heart. Heart can be taken out from thoracic cavity during autopsy. I can show you the contraction of myocardial muscles within about 30 minutes to one hour. But rigor mortis ka startup ka bota hai at about one to two hours of death. Heart goes into rigor mortis or we say contractile state is achieved within about 30 minutes. Then cadaveric spasm, rigor mortis, algar mortis, this is a very important chapter for FMG exams and PG exams too. Keep on asking questions. Uh, last session they showed you an image of clenched fist. Na? It was going with cadaveric spasm. In another session, they gave you a dead body was found and his all the limbs were found to be stiff. What is this? There, the answer was going with rigor mortis. Answer this one. A potential question which can be asked. Appeal against professional death sentence by a doctor has to be made within 60 days to which of the following authorities? Professional death sentence kab hota hai? When a doctor has been found to be guilty of some unethical act was done by the doctor. So professional death sentence de diya gaya hai. Now the doctor thinks he is innocent. Where can the doctor appeal? को गलत नहीं करना है अभी रिसेंटली 23rd मई को नेशनल मेडिकल कमीशन हैज पब्लिश्ड द ड्राफ्ट रेगुलेशंस द फाइनल थिंग विल आल्सो कम विद इन ड्यू कोर्स ऑफ टाइम इन दिस ड्राफ्ट रेगुलेशन आल्सो दे हैव मेंशनड दिस फैक्ट वेरी क्लियरली अपील अगेंस्ट प्रोफेशनल डेथ सेंटेंस बाय अ अपील अगेंस्ट एनी ऑफ द एक्शन हु विल टेक दिस एक्शन प्रोफेशनल डेथ सेंटेंस विल दिस एक्शन बी टेकन बाय कोर्ट्स और बाय सम अदर एजेंसी who can give us professional death sentence? Yaha par answer kya hai? Answer is D. Who can give us professional death sentence? Our state medical council. This is a medical body. It is not a judicial body. Okay. For medical body, an action has been taken by this body. So our degree has been erased. Penal eraser of the name of the doctor has been done from state medical register. If it is done permanently, it is called professional death sentence. So there now appeals have to be made to this agency, EMRB. Full form is Ethics and Medical Registration Board. Ethics and Medical Registration Board, which has been formulated under the guidelines of Central Health Ministry itself. पहले इस क्वेश्चन का आंसर क्या होता? Central Health Ministry होता था. ये नहीं होगा आंसर. Best answer if it is in the option EMRB ना, this one will be a better answer. To make a note of it. So appeal nahi kar paoge. Agar 60 days ka time frame hai na. Within 60 days you have to make an appeal. Otherwise the appeal won't be taken up. By ethics and medical registration. The answer was on. Caffey syndrome is related to. Pick the correct answer. Caffey syndrome is related to. Answer. You know the topic. Try to recall synonyms of the topic. By ruling out options, also you can. Caffey syndrome is another name for battered baby syndrome, also called shaken baby syndrome, also called as infantile whiplash syndrome. Also called as non-accidental injury of childhood. 
को भी याद रखना क्रिप डेथ इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड हॉट डेथ विच इज सीन मेनली इन इन्फेंट्स दे आर इन्फेंट डाई सडनली वेन ही वॉज लाइंग इन क्रिब और कॉट दे आर सिनोनिम्स बेसिकली If you know that they are synonyms, you could have ruled the options. Choking death, Caffey syndrome, so it's a little related. Caffey syndrome occurs where parents are psychotic and they have a tendency to beat their own child on a regular basis, day-to-day -day basis. So the child will present to casualty with multiple injuries of different different. Age. One of the clinchers of diagnosis. Abrasions will be reddish colored, brownish scab abrasions. Bruises will be red, blue. yellow colored bruises yes multiple injuries of different different age will tell you that the child is being constantly beat quite number of days what is the most common cause of death in such children due to vigorous shaking what happens rupture of subdural bridging veins occurs most commonly in these children most common cause of death is sdh subdural hem next one All of the following are grievous injury except the answer was wrong. This is a simple question. All of the following are grievous injury except again this is a JIP topic. Asked in every exam and also in your exam. For quite uh, one or two years they have not been asking questions from this area. You can get. question from this all of the following are grievous injury except yes correct option d is the correct answer merely admission for 20 days in a hospital does not make the injury grievous if i write the patient was admitted for 20 days in a hospital and he was having severe body pain now it becomes grievous or i write the person was unable to follow his ordinary pursuit able to perform his routine daily activity that makes the injury grievous whereas emasculation goes with clause 1 dislocation of tooth or fracture of any bone is which clause of 320 ipc written in which clause of 320 ipc ye to trick yaad hai na fracture symbol has number 7 hidden so fracture or dislocation of any bone or tooth is clause 7 chopping of any body part means privation of any member member means any body part having its own function and which cannot be regenerated chopping of a finger has been done so this is a this is a the daily routine activities mein kashto kya kya cheeze aati hain things like buttoning of shirt things like tooth brushing they are daily routine activities एडमिटेड है तो ऐसा थोड़ी कि वो टूथब्रश नहीं कर पाएमिशन डॉपिंग ऑफ फिंगर्स भी ग्रीवस होगा ना कौन सा क्लॉज लगेगा बताओ तो क्लॉज फाइव प्राइवेशन एक बार क्विक रिकेप कर ले क्लॉजेस क्लॉज वन इज जस्ट गो ऑन रिवाइजिंग विद मी मैस्कुलेशन Clause two of three twenty IPC goes with permanent privation of vision of either of the eyes. Clause three is related to permanent privation of hearing of either of the ears. Clause four and five they are related to member and joint of a body (MJ). MJ in toxicology is marijuana. Product from which of the toxicological plant? Cannabis, which gives us ECG. Angcharas ganja and this ganja is also called MJ there, marijuana. So this MJ is applicable to clause four and five. Clause four me member and joint ka kya karna hai apko? Privation. Clause five me kya ho jana chahiye? Due to any injury, there is loss of power or decreased power of any member or joint. So four and five are commonly related to MJ. Clause six kya? Permanent disfiguration. of head and face this is related to this area head and face then clause 7 we know fracture or dislocation of any bone or tooth fracture or dislocation of any bone dislocation of tooth also 
like they can give you this location of third molar is there is the injury grievous clause it you all know any hurt which endangers life or which makes the person to go in a period of 20 days with either of these either severe bodily pain or makes him unable to follow his daily routine activity so all these are grievous hurts so or remember the clauses in the same sequence you can get a match the following question also match the clauses with the respective item but remember the clauses in the same sequence grievous injury is defined in 320 ipc so forget it हाँ ये पूछा हुआ है ये क्वेश्चन इन वन ऑफ द पीजी एग्जाम्स दे गेव लॉज टू सिक्स एंड सेवन इन वन कॉलम एंड दे सेड यू टू मैच द क्लॉजेस विद द रेस्पेक्टिव आइटम्स इन कॉलम बी बट रिमेम्बर द क्लॉजेस इन द सेम सी बेसिकली व्हाट हैपेंस ना सेकंड ईयर एमबीबीएस अब तो एफएम थर्ड ईयर का पार्ट है फाइनल प्रॉप विल बी इन थर्ड ईयर इट विल बी टॉट इन सेकंड ईयर एज वेल एज थर्ड ईयर पार्ट वन थर्ड ईयर पार्ट वन में जो प्रॉप होता है व्हेन द वाइवा अकर्स दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी पेट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज बिकॉज यू विल गेट टुडे इटसेल्फ इन टेलीग्राम ना वन स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम पंजाब शी आज वन वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन सेंड सम फोटोग्राफ्स एंड शी आज की सर ये बस या सिंपल एवरी एमबीबीएस डॉक्टर शुड बी हैविंग दैट knowledge to classify the injury testamentary capacity refers to testamentary refers to nahi dekho grievous hurt ke clauses are important to puchoge to have to remember them in the same thing. testamentary capacity means ability to make a valid will this is what is called testamentary capacity who can make a valid will a person in compose mentis compose mentis ka simple matlab kya hota hai compose mentis means a person of sound mind person of sound mind rule of hesse is used to determine another potential question is repeatedly asked in your exam rule of hesse the correct answer is simple question it is related to determine the it is used to determine which aspect of the fetus kya nikalte age of the fetus let us do a quick recap for first Five months of pregnancy, first five months of pregnancy. Suppose an unknown fetus has been brought for autopsy. What I will do? I will take the crown heel length in centimeters, and I will do a square root. So supposing the length to be twenty-five, I will get the value as five. I will. Tell the policeman that the fetus is of five months pregnant fetus. The fetus is five months of age. You get the age in month. For next five month of pregnancy, it is referred to as Morrison's rule. And Morrison's rule says that for next five months of pregnancy. You take the crown heel length in centimeters and don't do square root. Divide it by five. अब कौन सा कब लगाना है हमें तो पता नहीं है. We don't know the age of the fetus, but we know the crown heel length. So suppose the crown heel length is twenty five. So till that time we will do a square root. The moment it is more than twenty five, we will divide it by five. Simple. So suppose the length of the fetus was thirty. So I will divide it by five. I will get the age of the fetus as six. This is the applicability of rule of. Now, crown rump length. What is it? Crown rump length is from the head area. We measure till the till the lower part of the back, till the natal cleft area. That is called as crown rump length. Out of crown rump length and crown heel length, medical legally, which is more valuable? Anyone? Which is more valuable? medical legally 
क्राउन रंप लेंथ और क्राउन हील लेंथ इज द क्वेश्चन आंसर इज क्राउन रंप लेंथ इज ऑलवेज ऑलवेज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट वाई बिकॉज इंडिविजुअल वेरिएशन विल बी देयर इन द लोअर लिम्ब लेंथ इंडिविजुअल वेरिएशन होंगे ना लोअर लिम्ब के लेंथ में तो दैट वेरिएशन विल बी काउंटर क्राउन रंप लेंथ विल ऑलमोस्ट बी सेम इन फीचर्स ऑफ फाइव मंथ But crown heel length is a variable factor. Medical legally more important is crown rump. Answer is Vesic Nevsky lesions are seen in death. Death due to hypothermia. When do you say a person has become hypothermic? When the core body temperature is less than thirty-five degrees centigrade. You say the person has gone into hypothermia. so in hypothermic condition you can get vesic nevsky lesions mainly on stomach mucosa inside stomach mucosa vesic nevsky lesions can occur in hypothermia then types of bullet is a favorite topic for your exam man fires a firearm weapon but the bullet does not come out he fires again two bullets come out one after another what is this this is what is called tandem bullet another name for tandem bullet is pick back bullet souvenir bullets kya hota hai last session exam question they are also called retained bullets inside the body sometimes when the bullets are lost in your vertebral bodies even neurosurgeons suppose he has uh, what an idea that if i try to retrieve the bullet there will be more neurological damage the neurosurgeon says let the bullet remain inside the vertebral body so those bullets are called souvenir bullets or retained bullets over a period of time they will get fibrosed because for our human body they are foreign body so they will have a tendency to lead to which poisoning was the question of your exams bullets are made up of lead metal so it can give rise to lead poisoning retained bullets what is ricochet bullet a bullet which gets deflected in its path deflected bullet is ricochet bullet what is dum dum bullet also called as mushroom or expanded bullet wherever the nose tip of the bullet is cut off what happens is the flame can now reach the lead metal and can deform this lead metal bullet because lead is a soft metal and the outer case can be seen to be ejected such bullets are called dum dum bullet wherever the nose tip of the bullet is cut details we have covered in our class adding all the types of bullets to revise them in bomb blast most common damages of the following most common damage in bomb blast is of tympanic membrane always preferred as an answer over lung always preferred as an answer answer is injuries caused by flying objects generated by bomb blast known as these are the four types of bomb blast injury primary bomb blast injuries occur due to barrow trauma or we say the initial shock wave so it will injure those body areas where already there is a pressure change like our ears like our lung secondary bomb blast injury is the injuries due to flying objects acting as flying missiles and that is why they are most dangerous and because everything is flying and hitting the person the person gets a combination of abrasion bruises and laceration most commonly in secondary blast injury and this triad of injuries was noted by marshals this triad is called marshall triad triad of abrasions bruises and lacerations of different body area tertiary bomb blast injury is mainly due to is mainly due to fall of the building over the victims fall of building occurs due to a sort of vacuum blast wind so due to that blast wind fall of the building can occur collisions can occur collisions of victims among themselves or with the surrounding wall or objects quaternary bomb blast injury occur due to complications like right? there was inflammable things present in the bomb blast vicinity so flame has originated fire or fume wherever there will be fire there will be fume or smoke All such injuries are called quaternary bomb blast injuries. 
पोटेंशियल एरिया इस टॉपिक हमेशा से इंपॉर्टेंट है Aquanoir is basically a artifact. To be exact, which artifact? Post mortem artifact. What is artifact? Any change in a dead body which is physiologically unrelated to cause of death. Now, Aquanoir के लिए cause of death से कोई relation नहीं. What is required for Aquanoir? The eyes of the dead person should be open. At the time of the death, the eyes were open. Now, what will happen? Drying of sclera leading to Aquanoir. So, this is a sort of post mortem artifact. Change which has been produced in the dead body, which is physiologically unrelated to cause of death. Which of the following is not a constituent of embalming fluid? Consonant. Always remember E for embalming and E for ethanol is not a constituent. What is embalming? Embalming is a process to preserve dead bodies. What will be the fate of embalmed bodies? Finally, they will get mummified over a period of years. But yes, they will be preserved. Means putrefaction won't happen. So we fill the dead body cavities as well as vascular compartment with embalming fluid to preserve the dead. Body. What is the most common method of embalming? Most common method utilized is discontinuous injection and drainage method. Discontinuous injection and drainage method. So we drain the blood of the body along veins and we inject embalming fluid. What will not be present in this fluid? Ethanol, ethyl alcohol or ethanol. What is the color change which is imparted to the blood vessels after embalming? Color change of blood vessels. Always remember grayish. Grayish color change can happen to blood vessels. The repeat question of one of the exam, not your exam. What is another name for embalming? Embalming is also called thanatopraxia. So, so these are one or two important things which you should memorize regarding embalming. What is the fate of embalmed bodies? Mummies will get converted in. Which of the following is an example of a leading question? The correct answer. You will be getting such sort of question. Application based, which is an example of a leading question. Correct answer goes with fastest answer was by Junat. Very good, Junat. So any question which is answerable in yes or no man. Read the lines and you will get the answer. Two questions. So leading questions are normally allowed during cross examination part of a witness. And option C is a sort of leading question. All of you are good. All of you have marked it correct. So whether injury is caused by blunt weapon, yes or no, but all other questions will be lengthy. Answers will be lengthy. They won't be in yes or no. What is the time limit for exhumation in India? What is the time limit for exhumation in India overall? What is exhumation? X means out of, X girlfriend means out of your life. X ka simple meaning kya hota hai? Dictionary meaning is out of. Exhumation comes from humus. Humus means mitti. Mitti means in English earth or soil. Out of humus, you have taken out a dead body. The process is called exhumation. There is no time limit for exhumation. There is no time limit for which part of examination of a witness? Also for cross examination. Cross examination has got no time limit. Also for cross examination, but there is no time limit in India. Another name for exhumation is disinterment. This in to clarify few facts have come into existence in a case. Sometimes dead bodies are taken out. 
from the burial areas and then re post mortem is done. That is what is called exhumation. Laws of courtesy followed between doctors, which is which of the following? Exam ke pressure mein kya hota hai? These simple questions are marked wrong. My whole idea is ki simple questions, silly mistakes nahi kar. You all will cross the boundary of 150. You curtail your, cut short your silly mistakes. Answer goes with courtesy means etiquettes. Laws of courtesy between doctors is etiquettes. What is ethics? Moral principles which guide doctor, 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 patient, and doctor state relationship. That is what is ethics. is noted due to poisoning by which of the following? Hippus is noted due to poisoning by aconite. Aconite is which group of poison? Cardiac poison. Yesterday we covered our toxicology part, part one. Part two today we try to revise some aspects of FM. Now look at this image and just tell me answer to one question. Suppose this is area marked with blue ink and this is the area marked in green ink. In which area you are able to appreciate postmortem staining? Blue or green? EMS is noted over which area? Blue area or green area? Postmortem staining, also called as sagillations, is noted over which area? Blue or green? <laughs> Red name kiya, ACLA name. Always, always, EMS is being noted over blue area. It's also PMS area. So, what has happened in green area? Clearing of the blood. Because this area was in actual contact with the heart surface. Now, gravitational shifting of the blood has happened in adjoining areas, which were dependent areas, but not in contact with the heart surface. What is this image showing you? Which type of postmortem staining? So this is a very good image of patterned PMS. EMS can be patterned also. Suppose the person died over a mattress because having raised areas like this. There are some acupressure mattresses. So if the person was lying over those mattresses, the areas which were in contact, they will be cleared of the blood, but the adjoining areas, they will be showing you PMS in a pattern. And last question for the day. Identify this. NCCT is signifying which intracranial hemorrhage? Just yeah. pata hai. Everyone knows that idli shaped hemorrhages goes with or we say nickly we say bicon. Subdural me kasa hota hai? Subdural is sickle shape. Sickle shape. Or we say concavo convex. So this is your EDS. Is in the shape of a idli. Idli will always be bicon. SDH will be banana shape, sickle shape, whatever you say. EDH ka perfect rhyming hota hai idli. Easy to recall. Even in exam pressure. EDH goes with idli on CT. Idli go to aisa nahi bana paoge na. Banana shape mein. Agar aisa bana loge to Guinness book wale le jayenge aapko. Flow abare sa. Idli cannot be analyzed. So don't stress yourself. Whole idea is don't stress. Uh, don't stress yourself and then on revising the things which we have covered. Don't read newer things. Now, now is not the time to read newer things. And on 1st, 2nd and 3rd of June, I'll be keeping facial sessions for you all these will be live sessions on an academy app most likely in the evening time slot the exact timing and all i will and once the schedule is done i will share the links in the telegram suspended animation is a acha tumhi ne pucha tha suspended animation is a trance like state 
इसको बोलते हैं ट्रांस लाइक स्टेट विच एपेंस इन सम न्यू बॉन्स इट कैन बी परफॉर्म्ड बाय सम योगी बाबा इट कैन बी नोटेड इन अ केस ऑफ ब्राउनिंग और इलेक्ट्रोब्यूशन एटलीस्ट रिमेंबर दीज फोर इंपॉर्टेंट कॉजेस विच कैन लीड टू ट्रांसलाइक स्टेट और वी से सस्पेंडेड एनिमेशन स्टेट वेयर इट विल अपियर दैट द डेथ ऑफ द पर्सन हैज अकर्ड बट वंस यू डू रिसेशन आफ्टर रिसेशन द पर्सन विल बी अलाइव This is what is suspended animation, trance-like state. It appears that the person is dead, but he is not actually dead. If resuscitation is done, he will become alive. Seen in some newborns, seen in some yogi babas, in this type of asphyxial deaths, drowning. Always remember, not in hanging or strangling, and can also be noted in electrocution death. Okay, Abhijit, clear? so this is as per literature as per literature near end ye sab revise karenge na first second and third june ko na i will be revising like three three chapters each i'll be keeping one one hour session not more than that in one hour we will try to revise three chapters again on 2nd june we will revise three chapters so that complete subject is covered there i will cover this ballistics and all what it rg i'll be covering all the chapters at least the areas which you tend to forget and obviously two predictions and all so then bye bye sure is correct sai Keep your confidence level high. Don't overstress by thinking about results. Keep on making your efforts. Everything will be good in life.